On 14 December, Nifty launched a new index that would track the digital sector performance in India. And interestingly, it doesn't only include the IT sector. There are a total of 30 stocks in the portfolio and it is a nice mix of companies across different sectors that have digital as its core theme. So in this video, we'll quickly look at all those 30 stocks that are part of Digital India Index and try to understand which sector contributes how much and which stocks have the highest weightage. All right, let's get started. So NEC has launched this Digital India Index on 14 December that would track the performance of stocks that would broadly represent the Digital India theme. These stocks are chosen based on their six months average free float market cap. Interestingly, there's a cap of 50% on single sector in the index. If NSE had not put this cap of 50%, then more than 80% stock would be from IT sector as IT sector has the highest set of companies that are leading the market cap tally. However, due to this capping of 50%, IT sector is not the only constituent in this Digital India Index and that's what I really liked about it. So there is 50% weightage for other companies that are from non-core IT business and operate in other sectors with technology as their core business. Not only this, NSE Digital India Index has also put a cap of maximum allocation of 7.5% for a single stock. This new Digital India Index can be used for benchmarking purpose against the Digital Mutual Fund or can be used to create Digital Index Funds or ETF. This index would be reviewed semi-annually and rebalancing would happen on a half yearly basis. Moreover, this list of top 30 stock would also give you a very good understanding of top 30 technology oriented stock from various sectors. So we'll quickly look at this sector wise allocation and list of stocks in this sector. First, let's start with IT sector. Now obviously, IT sector is the leader with 50% capping. Although the allocation is slightly high with 51.39% weightage. So what are the companies in this IT sector? There are 21 companies out of 30 companies from IT sector. Although it also includes some companies that are more into software product development rather than just pure IT services. Let's have a look at this list. It includes TCS, Infosys, Wipro, HCL, Tech Mahindra, LNT Infotech, Mindtree, Emphasis, LNT Technology Services, Persistent System, Tata Alexi, CoForge, Oracle Financial Services, Happiest Mind, Buildersoft, First Source Solution, Scient, Interlac Design Arena, Sonata Software. Now there are more names in this list, but they are not exactly in IT service companies. It includes Apple India and Tala Platform. Apple India is mainly a mobile ad product company with its own proprietary algorithm that helps in target marketing. Tala Platform is into communication services where it provides SaaS based cloud communication platform. And this company is growing quickly. By the way, I've already covered fundamental analysis of Tanda platform along with some very interesting companies in my weekly video series on my website. In this series, I also analyze the key events in the economy and its impact on a specific sector or stocks. The next sector with the highest weightage is telecom. This sector has a weightage of 22.18%. There are four companies in the telecom sector, Bharti Airtel, Tata Communication, Sterlite Technology and Vodafone Idea. So far, we have covered 25 companies out of 30 companies. Next sector is consumer services. This sector has 13.99% weightage in the Digital India Index. It also includes three companies, InfoEdge, India Mart Intermesh, and Just Dial. With this, we have got 28 companies out of 30. Next, there is one company from services sector with 8.11% weightage. It is IRCTC. Finally, it includes one company from industrial manufacturing sector that has 4.33% weightage. It is Honeywell Automation. Interestingly, this Digital India Index does not include any of the recently listed tech companies. I guess profitability has been one of the major criteria for this index. Now, if you look at the weightage of top 10 constituents in the index, IRCTC has the highest weightage of 8.11%. Next is Airtel with 8.07% weightage. Third is Infosys with 7.78% weightage. Fourth is Wipro with 7.65% weightage. Fifth is TCS with 7.16% weightage. Sixth is Tata Communication with 7.09% weightage. Seventh is InfoEdge with 6.93% weightage. Eighth is HCL with 6.83% weight. Ninth is Tech Mahindra with 6.67% weight. And tenth is Indiamart Intermesh with 5.74% weight. 
Friends, there are various reasons why technology is a big theme, not just in India, but all over the world. First reason is scalability. Unlike other sectors, technology-based companies are highly scalable. The same technology can be scaled to multiple geographies and multiple clients. For example, in case of Indiamart Intermash, which is an e-commerce platform for B2B segment, they already have the platform to host new businesses. So there is no limit on hosting the businesses. It can be scaled to every part of the country. This is the reason company claims to have 138 million plus buyers, that is 13.8 crore buyers, 6.7 million plus suppliers, that is 6.7 crore suppliers, and 76 million plus, that is 7.6 crore plus products and services. Just imagine if it was a physical platform, would that scale be possible? Well, it would have taken India Mart and Dimash a few hundred years to achieve that scale. Due to the scalability, the technology-based companies grow very quickly. For example, India Mart and Dimash three-year average CAGR profit growth is 72%, which is exceptional. Look at Tenla platform. It basically helps enterprises with communicating to its client. So the OTPs that we receive from banks for transaction verification is one of the services of Tanla platform. And just look at the scale of their business. It deals with 800 billion transactions annually. Yes, 800 billion transactions. In fact, the OTPs that we received from COVID app for COVID vaccination process was also routed through Tanla platform. Indian government partnered with Tanla platform to provide this OTP for COVID app. So Tenla was the technology partner behind world's largest vaccination drive of 100 crore people. That's the scale we are talking about. No wonder, in the last three years, Tenla profits have grown at a CAGR of 176%. Now, second reason is profitability. The best part of technology-based company is lower operating cost. That result in high profitability. Now, unlike your other sectors, technology-based companies do not need to borrow money and majority of them have zero to negligible debt level. On top of that, they have a very high margin business that makes them highly profitable. They also generate a good amount of cash that can be reinvested in technology to fuel the future growth. Then third reason is faster adoption of technology. I still remember 20 years ago, people used to stand in line to take railway tickets. But today, majority of them use IRCTC app. That's a big disruption. Technology has created huge convenience where almost everything can be done using your mobile app. And due to this, technology is getting adopted in even the remotest of villages. Indian government is also has got a lot of focus on digital India and adoption of technology in every part of the country. And the adoption of technology is only going to grow in the future. This creates a huge opportunity for technology-based companies to grow. Moreover, when it comes to IT sector, India is already a leader in the world. We have the right talent, we have the right leadership, and we provide IT services at a very low cost as compared to developed nations. No wonder, Indian IT companies are the preferred partner of majority of Fortune 500 companies in the world. So in this video, we discussed about the new Digital India Index launched by NSC and the top 30 companies in the index along with the weightage of each sector and weightage of top 10 companies. We also discussed why technology is a big theme in India. It is because of high scalability, high profitability and faster technology adoption. Sure, there is no doubt about the future growth of the technology sector, but there is only one problem, valuation. Majority of technology companies are available at high valuation because everyone understands the growth prospect of technology companies and are willing to pay a premium to buy technology stocks. Personally, I have invested in many of these technology companies and I am going to hold them for long-term wealth creation. In case you are looking to invest in these technology companies, then one of the option is to invest in the entire index of Digital India theme. But unfortunately, we don't have any index fund for these 30 stocks as this Digital India index has been launched recently. I'm sure in the future, we'll certainly have index funds that would replicate this NSC Digital India index. Another option is to look at the active mutual funds that invest in digital stocks. And I've already created a video on top three digital mutual funds. And finally, you can always invest in individual stocks as per your choice. The only thing you need to keep in mind is valuation. The better approach would be to invest periodically in a systematic manner or use this strategy to buy on dips. In case you are worried about the market fluctuation, I can only say that look at the bigger picture. If you invest with a long-term horizon without getting scared with the recent correction and keep patience, then trust me, 
five, 10 years down the line, you'll be very happy with your returns and you will thank yourself for staying invested during the tough times. In fact, personally, I'm using every opportunity of correction to buy on dips as I'm highly positive towards the future of Indian economy in the next 10, 20 years. Now tell me in the comments, out of these 30 stocks, which stocks do you hold in your portfolio? And did this index miss any of the technology stocks? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.